Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Oh, that needs to go up. Okay. There we go. Testing. Haha. -ha. Okay. So hopefully now you guys can hear me. Uh, let me center myself in my room here. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is Tilt Brush. I've played this before, but um, I had an idea. I want to make a set of our Lego dark brown like that. Uh, and then what do we need? We need something 3D. Uh, like this, icing? Yeah, let's do icing. Uh, let's kind of get it bigger and we want to go Even bigger, maybe. Anyway, so I'm sorry if I wasn't describing what I'm, what I'm doing well enough. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make a set of assets. So first things first, we're making a wall. And I got to remember how to do this. You can, like, what do you do? You can grab something somehow. Selection. Flip selection. Uh, dropper. Recolor. Straight edge. That's not what I need. What do I need? Environment lights backdrop poly library. And you just grab this. Error connecting to poly. Oh right, 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 right. So this is gone. That doesn't work. Um I love that you can just throw stuff away. Um let's see. What do we do? Dropper? Is it dropper? No, that'll just grab whatever it is. That's what it is. Okay, selection. So now it's grouped. Now, okay. Now we're getting into it here. So what do I do? I set it. And then there's like a button. Ah, yes. Perfect. Okay, and then let's make one that's upside down as well. There you go. So we have two walls. Let's make one that's got a window in it, shall we? Um, <laughs> I'm still getting used to this program, so give me a second. We're just going to erase all of this wall. We have our two walls. Let's teleport back over here a little bit. Our two walls are over there. Let's go back to some browns. Get our icing out. Make it wide again. And we're going to make a window one. Uh, I think, can I just, I can, I can just drag. I don't need to do it like that. Okay. Then we go small again. Um... Let's go back to our rope idea. And we go. Oh, it looks like it's all tied together, you see? You dig? Try not to get too lazy with it, but I want it to be kind of like 
just fun. You know what I mean? Just a cool idea. Okay. Make at least one of those. Now. Go back to icing again. We're just making non-stop stuff here. This is fun. This is what I wanted to do today. So now we're going to make a, a roof. I should probably get a little closer to my play space. I don't have to make it like this. I could just make it. You know what? Let's just do it. Hold on. Think smarter. Work smarter, not harder. How about that? We'll do that. So our roof is also just going to be like this. This is what Lego Fortnite has inspired me to do. And it's not necessarily just Lego Fortnite. It's a survival game thing. But if I'm honest, I got the idea because I've been playing a lot of Lego Fortnite. And my Xbox is not really handling it too well these days, which is unfortunate. I could just use a wall, I guess. What am I doing? I could use floors and walls and all kinds of other stuff. But okay, so now we have a couple different options, right? Okay. <sighs> what else do we need? A doorway. Can we make a doorway quick and easy like you think? Okay. Okay. So, let's see. We go selection. I'm going to have fun with this now. Oh, you know what we need to do first before we do any of that? Let's go over here. Let's go to our, not shiny, a matte hull. Let's get a nice soft green. And let's go. Like so. And like so. And like so, and we'll even get a little bit of rock. All right, so now what I want to do is I have messed this all up because I did this in the worst place possible, but. Oh, I love that I can select in 3D so I don't have to actually select anything I don't want to. That's wonderful. Okay, so now. Correct me if I'm wrong. I should be able to just put this down on the ground and go sicko mode real quick. Can I go a little sicko mode? Okay, like so. Ta-da! Okay. Okay, look at that. Like all that stuff I was just working with, now it's teeny tiny. So watch this, now that it's teeny tiny, I take selection, I go real small, and I say, I just want uh, this wall, right? And I wanna set it down here. Maybe like this. And another one like that, wait, 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 just grab a different one. Set it like this. Grab a completely different one. 
So it's always different, right? I should set it like this so it looks good. Okay, there's that. Now, okay, now let's grab a different wall so we know where we have different aspects, right? Let's make this, we'll put these in all kinds of different places so that they make sense, hopefully. Uh, let's spin this around. And maybe even, actually, yeah, let's spin it around and put it upside down so that it looks completely different. Okay. All right, now, should we put them across each other like that? Should we put them up at an angle? Probably up at an angle, right? Check that out. So what's amazing about VR is that right now I'm making this tiny little thing. But at any moment I could just like stand inside of it and kind of decide, oh, it's really slanty, isn't it? It's kind of off kilter. Okay, well, let's get it. <laughs> well, this is trial and error. This is all this is all us doing it for the first time. So we don't know what we're doing here. So what if I double them up? So that they're like, oh, this one looks good on both sides. Actually, that's a solid freaking wall. I haven't used a single window. What am I doing? It's a matter of fact. Uh... Excellent, excellent. Um, let's see some of these neat low windows too. They're like super low, huh? It's gonna look very strange. But what's interesting about this is I could go, just grab these, right? And just put these in here and then add my own string when I need to. And in fact, I might do that for, well, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Press A to exit deselect mode. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Now what am I going to do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone, people. We're going to keep building with these parts that we've made, right? Let's use this part. Can we make a weird, it's like a roundhouse. And then what if we spin it? Like I was saying, we can spin it and use it again to create that effect that there is like rope on both sides. Okay. Then we need this to go. Oh my God. It looks awful. Hold on, wait. There we go. Let's use a different wall. Okay. You can see that my poor little headset is actually starting to have a little bit of trouble. So what I'm going to do 
So I'm gonna grab this. How do I get rid of? How do I just erase, erase? Thank you, little asset pile. That was fun. So what I did was I took the idea of having a sprite sheet because I've been watching a lot of game developers do. Oh, it's funny how they're all different colors. But watching a lot of game game developers do different um, ideas of how to do like creation, especially of map creation. And then taking ideas, like I said, of like uh, Lego. Oh, that's tiny. What am I doing? Lego Fortnite ideas. There we go. We'll just we'll just build it in ourselves. And then we can actually make it make sense in a minute here. Then what we do is we do there, get a small one, and we do the little rope pieces. In fact, we can do rope pieces kind of everywhere because it all needs it. I like this idea that we've, like, tied the house together somehow. It's kind of struggling a little bit in my poor headset. <clears throat> okay. So, let's just say... For the sake of argument, that this doorway is, oh, we're the size of a squirrel. So this isn't very big yet. Hold on. We're the size of a dinosaur now. So what we want to do is check this out. Select. Make it as big as possible. And we just go. And then we grab it. And we make it freaking huge. Okay, so there's the block. I, I want to keep it kind of on the block. Let's do it like this. And then we'll just up it. And there we go. Okay. Uh, it's still not very big, right? We can even make it a little bigger. It can be pretty freaking big. Because I'm the size of a dinosaur. So it needs to be about as big as me. Okay. Now, I think I go into the teleport mode. Get myself nice and small. <laughs> I just built this. <laughs> That's such a trip, dude. Let's go inside and see how it looks. Oh my god, what it okay, so it doesn't look great right now. You could tell definitely see that I skimped on these squiggles. <clears throat> But you see the idea. Imagine if I put a lot of work into these, into the rope details here. And what I just did there, I wanted to make sure that I could do it in like, you know, a short amount of time because I want this to fit into one stream where just my headset battery is going to make it from the beginning to the end of the project. But if I were to make this a multi session project, I could literally come in here at this size and be like, okay, let's move over here and work on in here um, with some more of the uh, maybe tune icing and I can move myself let's get right up against here and be like okay so now there's like there's like a pot on the windowsill This kind of bugs out the system actually because it's uh because it's cell shaded, and this is I'm I'm still I'm on the Quest Two I'm on the old headset. Everything I do, as you see, is on a shoestring budget because I am a broke person. But hold on, wait. Actually, what we want is And actually, oh, I know what I'll do. I'm being silly. Okay. Get myself big. Bust out the wire. And just make one single cil cylinder. Like so. 
then you bust out the, I don't know what lofted is. What is lofted? Let's find out. Real small, and we're gonna make it kind of big, or kind of small, whatever. Lofted is perfect for this. Check that out. So now there's a little plant in the window of my of my house. Can you see any of the rocks outside? No, not really, huh? All right, well let's leave. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have to go through the door, but it just feels right. So yeah, this is our project now. Look at that. We built a little longhouse. I freaking love this. The VR is amazing. And the fact that you could do this to make a, any kind of asset you wanted to play any kind of game you wanted, you think about it, like, eventually, you were already at the point where most games are handmade, if that makes sense. But, I mean, like, we could get to the point where you could be playing in a piece of art that someone built that's just... Whoa. Uh, so imagine you're just chilling in your little hut, looking at your flower on the windowsill, right? You see that, guys? <laughs> and then all of a sudden you hear this crazy noise and you look outside and you're like, whoa. You can't tell me VR is not like absolutely amazing. Look at that. Like, look at that. All right. I'm going to um, call this one a project. How do I do that? I go here. I go save sketch. Added to sketchbook. And then uh, we just go back home, right? More options, settings, labs, tips and tricks, reset panels. Beginner mode. Beginner mode's awesome, by the way. It really, really helps if you're trying to learn what you're doing. I don't know why they start you on this brush, but some of these brushes are beautiful. Uh, let's do a new sketch. Just before I go, I just want to do like a quick pretty something maybe. Ooh, that's weird. That's not how I normally do an A, by the way. And then, hold on, wait, we're almost there. Let's go with a, let's go with a red, like a nice dark red, bright red. And let's change it up to something like this. And we're gonna do this full on graffiti style, ready? Um, ink is a weird choice, I don't know why I did this. Also, wow, I did this in the worst possible uh, perspective possible. Thanks for watch.
Thanks for watch. And I love that you can just make it huge. It could just be gigantic. Or I could have it real small, like in the palm of my hand. Thanks for watch, everybody. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Watch, then I have to end the cast, right? Okay, there it is. All right, bye.